In many ways, I'd argue that Wordle is the defining game of 2022 so far. Forget Elden Ring, Lost Ark, Tunic, no other game this year has had an impact on wider culture quite like this free-to-play word game developed by a sole developer as a gift for their partner. Put it this way, my 61-year-old dad doesn't message me every single morning to tell me about his Elden Ring achievements, but you can be damn sure he's messaged me for the past 64 days in a row without fail telling me about his Wordle scores. As you might expect, the enormous success of Wordle has resulted in a huge number of weird and wonderful spin-offs. Some are Wordle-like puzzles, others are more trivia-based, testing a player's knowledge about a specific subject. The thing that ties them all together is that daily limit where only one puzzle is available to play every day. So if you're looking for another devious brain teaser to add to your morning puzzle routine, then you're in the right place. These are eight of our favourite Wordle likes. Waffle is my best recommendation for Wordle players looking to scratch that word discovery itch in a slightly different way. Here, players are presented with a grid that consists of three rows and three columns. There are six words to discover in total, displayed both horizontally and vertically, like a crossword. All the letters you need to solve the puzzle are given to you straight away and can be swapped with any other letters on the board. All waffles can be solved in 10 moves, but you can swap tiles 15 times before it's game over. Like Wordle, yellow letters indicate that a letter is included in a word but is currently in the wrong place. The tricky thing with Waffle is that when a yellow letter is present at the intersection between two words, it could belong to either the horizontal word, the vertical word, or both of them. Thinking across two different axes when you first start playing Waffle can prove a little difficult, but once you get your head around it, this is a fantastic Wordle alternative that's honestly, as good as the original. Square Word is a more traditional Wordle-like, but instead of having six opportunities to guess one word, you have unlimited opportunities to guess five. Well, technically 10, as although you are guessing a different word per row, each column also spells out an additional word. Each guess applies to all five rows, with any correct letter placements appearing on the board, while an additional column lets you know which letters are present, but in the wrong place. Ah, square word isn't particularly innovative, and to be honest, it might prove a little too similar to Wordle for some, but I think it's great fun. So I can't really talk about Wordle likes without mentioning these jokey meme versions of Wordle that ask you to solve multiple Wordle puzzles at the same time with every guess applying to all of the different boards. Dordle gives you two boards, which is tricky but doable. Quardle gives you four, which is edging ever closer into stupid territory, but it is still possible. Octordle gives you eight, which is absolutely ridiculous because despite being given 13 attempts to complete all eight boards, just trying to pass this much information is extremely difficult. Look at the state of this. Then there's Sedacordal, which gives you 16 boards to tackle at the same time. This makes me irrationally angry, and I don't want to talk about it. Don't play these. I'm begging you. I, I know some people enjoy them, but don't do it. Just read a book instead. No, don't. No, come on. Let's move on to some of the more interesting variations. Worldle presents you with the silhouette of a random country before asking you to guess what it's called. Incorrect answers will reveal two clues, the distance and the direction to the correct country in relation to the one guessed by the player. On a similar note, Wordle plops the player down on the streets of a random US city before asking them to guess what state they're currently in. As in the US state, not, you know, loneliness or something. You can then have a poke around the streets using Google Street View, zooming in on signs in an attempt to find something recognisable before you take your chance. Think of Wordle a bit like a daily version of GeoGuessr, where, much like in Wordle, if you make an incorrect guess, you're given a very small hint in the form of a directional arrow. As a Brit, Wordle is really hard. I don't know states. I don't know cities in states. There's a lot of cities and states. I guess I spend like 25 minutes playing Wordle just desperately hunting for anything that references a state. 
And very few things do, it turns out. If you spent the majority of your time in geography lessons, sat at the back of the classroom listening to your iPod Nano instead of learning about tectonic plates, then Hurdle is the game for you. Every day, Hurdle provides you with the first second of a song. If you guess incorrectly or have no clue what it is, you can extend the duration by an additional second. Each subsequent skip doubles the amount of time you can preview the track until eventually you're given the first 30 seconds of the song. If you still can't guess it at that point, it's game over. Presumably, due to licensing issues, the Hurdle library is a little sparse, but thankfully it still manages to strike a good balance between classic hits and modern bops. Here's a video of me guessing Jamiroquai's virtual insanity in less than a second because I'm a garbage boy. You know what? Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai is good. I'll die on that hill. For the movie buffs watching, these three games are all but guaranteed to become a part of your daily routine. Framed presents you with a single frame from a popular film. An incorrect guess will display another, slightly more obvious frame from the same movie. You have six opportunities to guess the correct title before it's game over. On a similar note, Moviedal condenses an entire movie to one second before asking you to guess what it is. Like Hurdle, skipping increases the length of the supercut, adding an additional second and subsequently more frames each time you do so. My favourite movie-based wordle like however, is the exceptional box office game. Every day you're challenged to guess what the five highest grossing films in the US domestic box office were for a specific weekend in recent history. You're told what position the film was at, how long it had been there for, who distributed it and how much money it made. That's it. Box Office Game functions a bit differently compared to other games on this list, with the player able to trade points in exchange for hints. The tagline, for instance, will set you back 40 points, whereas the plot will cost you a whopping 180 points. The fewer hints you buy, the more points you'll get for guessing the movie correctly. I probably only like this one more than anything else on this list because my ability to retain pointless information about films is way more refined than my grasp on the English language. Words hard. That's why I make videos. <laughs> Dungeleon. Dungleon? Dungleon. Dungeleon? Dungeleon is a bit of an outlier on this list, but I wanted to include it because it's the closest a developer has come to creating a traditional game using the Wordle formula as its basis. The goal of Dungeleon is to construct a miniature diorama of a dungeon using a selection of sprites instead of letters. Like Wordle, sprites will show up as either green or yellow depending on whether they've been placed in the correct order. There are also certain rules that must be followed. Each dungeon contains at least one hero and one monster. Some sprites only appear in the dungeon alongside another sprite and others only ever appear in a specific slot. There are also hidden rules that players will uncover the more they play. Dungeleon sort of works better when you play it over an extended period of time. Still, if you're interested in game development and you're curious as to how the foundation of one game can be used to create something entirely different, this is definitely one to check out. Finally, we have Squabble, the only game on this list to deviate from the once a day structure that made Wordle so popular. Squabble is basically a multiplayer version of Wordle that matches you up with either friends or random players in a competition to see who can solve as many Wordle puzzles as possible before the time runs out. Your health bar decreases by 1 HP every second, but can be refilled by guessing correctly, incentivizing fast play to keep things moving along at a decent clip. The default Blitz mode can be played by up to 5 players, whereas the Royale mode supports up to 99 people. Absolutely wild. If if you've ever been playing Wordle and you've thought to yourself, ah, I really wish this was more immediately competitive than, let's say, smugly sending your dad a WhatsApp message telling him that you got today's Wordle in two guesses, then Squabble is probably the game for you. So there we have it. Eight Wordle likes. Eight-ish, sort of. Close enough. What Wordle likes do you enjoy? Let us know your five letter favourites in the comments below. For more PC goodness, make sure to check out Rock Paper Shotgun and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.